polyphosphagens in that students we are going to see the linear polyphosphagens that means they are connecting in a linear way a linear polyphosphagens the polymerization of molten npcl2 thrice above 250 degrees celsius to high molecular weight materials gives the linear polymers understand students so this way it will polymerize and it will form the linear polymers at 250 degrees celsius it may be represented by the general formula nitrogen phosphorus double bond and you are going to put n so this is the linear poly phosphagens where r may be the halogens you can represent this alkyl group by fluoride chloride and bromide understand students it may be halogens now students failure to eliminate all phosphorus pentachloride lead to the cross link insoluble polymers that cannot be successfully used to replace all chloride by the desired side chain understand students it is if you want to fail to remove phosphorus pentachloride that means they will lead to cross link you will not get the linear poly phosphagens understand students so you have to remove all the phosphorus pentachloride using this method highly linear soluble polymers where n you can increase is always more or greater than 15000 understanding unit this way you can get the soluble polymers the number of n will always greater than 15000 or more than 15000 the following substitution type of reactions can be carried out so first students if you have n number of polyphosphagen students if you add sodium alkoxide you are getting what n number of polymers so here the students two alkoxide will be uh, arranged like this understanding students because here phosphorus is plus 5 oxidation state and nitrogen is what plus 3 oxidation so this alkox alkoxy group will attach to the phosphorus and you are getting polymers if you add students alkyl amine or dialkyl amide so what happens students they will attach to the phosphorus like this and they may convert like this understanding sometimes this hydrogen is replaced by what alkyl two alkyl group so you are getting this type of polymers now what happens students we are going to see the cyclophosphagens what is the cyclophosphagen students cyclo diphosphagens are obtained as r2 p and 3 in presence of h hv light and you, there is the elimination of one nitrogen molecule students there is the elimination of nitrogen gas and you are getting r2 pn and they will dimerization will take place at 40 degrees celsius students and they will form the ring like structure cyclic compound nitrogen phosphorus double bond and phosphorus nitrogen single bond understanding students so they will form the cyclic phosphagens understanding where r can be any methylated carbohydrate understanding students so this way you can form the cyclophosphagens understand students now how you are going to prepare students preparation students polychlorophosphagens polychlorophosphagens that is hexachlorotriphosphagens this is also called because here students 3 will go inside it will form 6 chlorine so we can also say hexachlorotriphosphagens because 3 will go inside it will form 3 nitrogen so uh, so we can say hexachlorotriphosphagens understanding students this is the name of the compound Cl2PN thrice is hexachlorotriphosphagen. It is a key intermediate in the synthesis of many other phosphagens and is readily prepared as follows. How it is prepared, students? For that, students, you have to take the raw material, phosphorus pentachloride, react with ammonium chloride in presence of phenyl chloride. You are getting what? N number of phosphagens and you are getting SCL, 4 in number. Say, for example, students, if you are taking 3 phosphorus, Spentachloride react with 3 ammonium chloride in presence of phenyl chloride. You are getting hexachlorotriphosphagens and 12 SCL. Understanding students? Now, this reaction produces a mixture of n number of NPCL2 species, but under the selected condition, high yield of the trimers and tetramers can be obtained. This can be readily separated trimers and white crystalline solid that is, melting point is 113 degrees Celsius that sublime readily in vacuum at 50 degrees celsius is commercially available it is the source of synthesis of linear polymers understand students so students we are going to see the structures and bonding the molecule is planar with essential equal phosphorus nitrogen bond students distance when you see the molecule is what planar with essentially equal phosphorus nitrogen it is thermodynamically stable and not air sensitive the best known cyclophosphagens are the trimeric and tetrameric ones but much larger rings are well known now when you are talking about structure strings this is the structure of trimeric this is the structure of what trimeric hexachlorophosphagens understanding strings hexachloro 
triphosphagen because it's nitrogen so it is called as the trimeric structure of hexachloro hexachloro triphosphagen so this is the structure students when you are coming down here tetrameric structure of these phosphagens will be like this this is a phosphorus nitrogen double bond nitrogen phosphorus single bond they will form the tetrameric structure this is the tetrameric structure students here the alkyl groups are like the because of oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 5 and nitrogen is plus 3 understanding students because of the oxidation state students they will form the tetrameric structure so this is the trimeric structure and this is what tetrameric structure of the compound understanding students here n will be more than 15000 now structure of hexa chlorotriphosphagene will be like this students this is the structure of hexa chlorotriphosphagene students here the phosphorus will connect to two chlorine and it is connected to the phosphorus nitrogen double bond and phosphorus nitrogen single bond understanding structure of cis type of compound npcl npcl p phenyl this is students ph is the phenyl group four so this is the structure of the cis type of compound of phosphagene students now ring in that uh, np x to n where the n may be three or four are planar but larger rings are not planar for other when you are getting np x to n compound the six rings are planar larger rings are generally non-planar with npn angles of 120 degrees celsius and pnp angles are nearly 132 degrees celsius they are not planar ring understanding so these are the now we are going to see the properties of these compounds the majority of the phosphagenes react involves the replacement of halogens atom by other group to give partially a fully substituted derivative now this is a tri hexachloro triphosphagene instance when react with sodium fluoride in presence of methyl cyanide it will form the hexafluoro triphosphagene understand students that you can replace you can students you can replace the chloride by fluoride understanding this is replaced by this group and you are getting six sodium chloride molecule same way students here hexachloro triphosphagene when react with sodium alkoxide group that is you, this chloride is replaced by or that is alkoxy groups understanding so this way you, this is the one of the very important properties of tri hexachloro triphosphagene understanding students uses as compared to the linear polyphosphagenes the cyclophosphagene few uses but is spiro compounds such as crystalline with uh, clathrate form aromatic molecules olefins and so on so these are the students uses of the cyclophosphagenes over the linear for, uh, phosphagenes so they are forming what clathrate type of where the aromatic molecules olefins they can be trapped inside the molecules understand students so these are very important students chapter if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you